Welcome. Today we're going to be taking apart this MacBook Pro 15.4 inch uh, A1398. This is the mid 2014 15 inch MacBook Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the bottom case screws and this bit you're going to need is a 1.2 pentalobe. So make sure you have the right tool. You're not going to be able to get those screws out. All right, once we have those screws removed, we'll go ahead and just pop that back cover off. And for most of the internals, it's gonna be a Torx T5. So that should get you uh, most of the way disassembling this laptop. So first we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. So let's just remove that cover and then we'll pop that uh, connector up and off. All right, now we'll go ahead and remove the SSD drive. Just gonna wanna remove that screw and then pull it out like that. And for the airport card, go ahead and pop those antennas up and off. And we'll also go ahead and pull these uh, from underneath the little cover over the fan. Looks like we can get the other connector as well while we're here. Now this is only if you're going to need to remove the cooling fans. Since we'll be removing the display as well, um, we're going to go ahead and just make sure we've got it free um, as we go through the steps. All right, now we'll go ahead and remove the airport card. It's held on by a little bit of a little adhesive cooling pad so I just want to wiggle it up slightly and then pull it out. Alright, looks like we'll go ahead and remove the ribbon for the SSD and out board. Just like that, you want to pull it straight up. If it's never been taken off before, sometimes they're pretty, pretty hard to take off. But just keep wiggling, and it'll come off. All right, so we can go ahead and free that ribbon from the other end as well. Just move it out of the way, and then we can get to the fan screws. All right, I went ahead and removed the heatsink screws as well. So the only thing we have to do now is uh, release the ribbon for each fan. So just flip up on that little retainer with your fingernail. And it's probably easier just to loosen the fan so you can pull up on that ribbon and unstick it. Repeat for the other side. All right, now we can finish removing the heat sink. Um, it's got a couple screws on either side, so we'll go ahead and just finish clearing those. 
And the in-out board, you're gonna have to remove the cable on this side, so just flip up the little metal bar. And that will allow you to pull it out. Alright, now we can get this screw. So I want to go ahead and move that little uh, rubber cover there. Just pull it off of the little Torx head screw and remove it. Alright, now we will go ahead and finish removing the ribbons from the logic board. So some of these will just flip straight up and off. And some of them have little bar retainers. Definitely helps to have fingernails. And this type you're going to flip up from the uh, wire side of it. You just have to kind of put some pressure upwards. And yours may have a piece of tape over this one. Just make sure you peel that back and it's the same kind of connector. Or retainer, I mean. And it looks like one more over here. That one. So yeah, I definitely recommend having a little pointy instrument to remove some of these ribbons. So you're going to want to check around the board. Sometimes these are hiding in really weird spots. Alright, so I think we're good to remove these screws for the logic board. That one as well on the end here. And a lot of times the MagSafe jack um, connector is on the bottom of the logic board, so you want to go ahead and remove the screws to the jack on this side. Once you've kind of visually verified you have all those ribbons, because some of them are very small, go ahead and just wiggle that logic board. And then you're going to want to pull out without bending up too hard. 
just to get those ports out of the case because uh, they kind of poke through in there and they won't come just straight up. And that's how you remove the logic board. All right, now I think we're ready to separate the display from the palm rest assembly. So I'll just pull up on these little hinge covers. And more likely than not, the adhesive is gonna stay behind on the screws, so you'll need something to kind of peel that off. Now this is going to be a T9 for the uh, larger size Torx. So since this is a Mac, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove two screws from each side. And that way when you open the display and have to kind of do it one-handed, you only have two screws to have to remove. All right, so we got two or four of the six hinge screws out. Um, one more thing we gotta do before separating the display is just remove these little covers here on the sides. That's gonna be the T5. Alright, so now we can go ahead and open up the back. And we can remove those last two screws on for the display. Alright, so as for the palm rest top case, um, you can take the speakers out, it's just a couple small Torx size, uh, Torx screws, and if you want to get that battery out, hopefully you have a heat gun and something to pry with. Um, it's just generally not serviceable. So, that is it for the palm rest. Alright, for the display, we're going to go ahead and keep it intact. These things are a real pain to separate. And especially on this model now, it's so cheap that a complete display assembly is definitely the way to go. But if you are having some problems with your hinges being loose, which you know does tend to happen, um, you can just pull your clutch cover over to the right. And um, once it hits the hinge, you can kind of pull up on it and it'll just pop off. And then you have some larger size torque screws holding those hinges on. So if they're loose, it's real easy to tighten those and get rid of any kind of uh, annoying wiggle. All right, so I hope this video was informative. Um, that's how you disassemble a MacBook Pro mid 2014 15 inch. Uh, this one was a, a 1398 and most of the MacBooks in this series and year will be identical, just different parts inside. So if this video helped you, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.